cupcake turned out. But these really cute little tucker hats. The cups turned out so good. We've got all three done. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday morning, and we have got ourselves a really fun day today. I've got a couple of different orders to work on. We are gonna pick up some t-shirts from the warehouse. I'm gonna show you guys some new inventory that we've brought into the shop and talk about some updates coming to the store too. So we've got so many fun things. Let's go. First things first this morning, though, we are grabbing Chick-fil-A. I don't know what it is about Chick-fil-A, but this entire second trimester, now that I've gotten my appetite back, y'all, I cannot get enough. I have been wanting the chicken minis, is that what they're called? Chicken minis like every single day and Chick-fil-A Coke specifically. Baby wants what baby gets. <laughs> or baby gets what baby wants. Oh my gosh, I swear. I have the world's worst pregnancy brain too right now. And don't worry, I got a water as well to go with my soda. Drinks secured, food. Dun, 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 dun. So the hat press is on sale. I've been waiting for it to go back on sale, so I think I'm gonna grab it today. Vinyl is also 50% off. So I'm kind of like, do I pick anything up? This clip might completely suck because you can't see me that well, but this car is awful for vlogging. Here's what I got, quick haul. A hot pink Cricut premium vinyl. And then I got a light pink as well. And then I got the transfer tape. I get the little small one of the transfer tape like this because it's actually the perfect height basically for when I do my cups that I make because literally they are 50% off right now. I don't know if they will be by the time you guys see this vlog. I hope they are for your sake, but every now and then, like once a month, they do a sale where like Cricut stuff is 50% off. They do the same with Silhouette, but I got the Cricut hat press. I'm so excited about this. I have been making, I've been making trucker hat now for the shop and I've been waiting for this to go back on sale so I can get it for a hundred dollars instead of a 150. I'm going to get this a try. I'm actually going to try this this afternoon because I do have hat order going out today for a wholesale. So we'll give this a shot later. Our next stop is Lakeshore Learning. We're stopping here. Here because they actually have bulletin board paper which makes for really great backgrounds for photo shoots and product photography. Ended up getting a free tote bag today too. So that shop is really great. I like their bulletin board paper for backdrops for product photography because they're huge and they're pretty inexpensive as you saw. Right about they were $10 each um, for the ones that I got. Also got a free tote bag. Literally so fun going back in that store. I taught fourth grade during like 2019, 2020. So it brings back a lot of memories. So here's that. I miss teaching a little. Next up is the five below. In here, I'm gonna be looking for some different props to go in the background or to use with with my items so that I have props and more interest in the photos for the product photography. Okay, so I um, literally found exactly what I was looking for at Five Below. They have these little um, disco balls, so I got a silver one and a hot pink one. These are gonna be looking great as little pops in the background. I also got some candy. I came in and just dumped everything everywhere and just ate a little bit of lunch. Now I wanna kind of unpack everything that I picked up while I was out, organize it, and then I've got my order slips here for orders that need to be worked on today and need to go out. So we're gonna go through those. I think we're gonna make those orders, get those packaged up. We're gonna go with the new hat heat press today. We're gonna look at that all sorts of stuff and then maybe after we get through the orders i really want to think about maybe making some new products and getting some photos so we'll see So I've got my packing slips all here. These are the orders that we're gonna be working on today. It's transfers, wholesale, and regular. And then I've got my transfers over here, or rolls. So I'm going to cut up my designs, get all that kind of like set aside so everything's already cut and ready to go. so we can go ahead and start pressing the shirts. Then we'll pack the orders and then also pack the transfer orders at the same time. And then we'll have to make some things for this wholesale order. I'm gonna work on doing the t-shirt orders next. t 
sweatshirts turned out. There's the football mama ones, really cute. They got three of those in a small, medium, and large. And then the really pretty dolly one. This one's like so popular on my shop, so. That one gets made literally like every day. <laughs> Look how cute they are, all spread out. Now I have two different transfer orders that I'm going to pull their transfers from the orders, get them set aside with their packing slip. This t-shirt already has its packing slip. And then the wholesale order one is up here, but it's missing more items that we still need to make. So let's go ahead and do the transfer ones and get those out of the way. Since I'm working with the transfers, I wanted to show you guys some of the popular fall designs that we have listed now in the shop. If you guys don't know, we sell direct to film transfers. Those are the transfers you saw me pressing onto the t-shirts to make my apparel. We sell those transfers as well. So not only do we do apparel, but we also do transfers. Yes, we do custom transfers. So if you have designs and you want to get them printed as direct to film transfers, we offer customs. I'll have it linked down below. We also offer ready to press designs. So we go out and we sort really fun, unique, cool designs. And we offer them as ready to press DTF transfers. So you choose however many you want, the size you want, and then we send them to you. So let me show you some of my favorite fall ones that are already really big sellers. We have this one here. It's got cute little pumpkin with little skeleton hands. This one has been pretty popular as well. I've already gotten a couple orders for it. It says pumpkin spice vibes. Really cute if you like that fun retro-y style. This has been a huge seller already. I think I've literally sold almost 50 of these already and it is literally July 12th, which is crazy. But I highly recommend that if you are going to be putting Halloween designs in your business or your shop, you need to start buying transfers and things for those now, especially if you're selling on Etsy because you should be listing and promoting things like three months in advance so that it can catch up in the algorithm and get people's attention. So this one has been a really, <laughs> really popular design and I get why because it's so cool it's got a bunch of different little kind of doodles all over it um, but that one's been really popular and then we've gotten this one several times I think a lot of people are ordering this one for kids tees it's a sweet but spooky or sweet and spooky and they kind of look like little lollipop jack-o-lanterns with little kittens in them it's also got that kind of checkered print on the background so it's super cute kind of that fun retro too we have a ton of other halloween and fall designs already listed over on our website if you guys want to go and give it a check and we'll have it always linked down below for you guys it is time for the cricut hat heat press to shine let's turn it on here are the supplies i'm going to be using so we have our trucker hats here they got the light pink hats they're really cute with like a mesh backing on them we need some heat resistant tape and then these are the two designs these are also direct to film so love that and then we've got our new Cricut little hat heat press here, which this thing is so heavy. It's like a, it's like a weighted thing that you put the hat on so it holds its shape while you're pressing it. And then we've got the actual little heat press part, which I need to turn on. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, so what's interesting about this hat heat press is it has to connect via the Cricut heat press app on your phone. But once you connect it to that, it will actually show you suggested settings for the different types of projects that you're doing. So I went ahead with, it, with its suggestion today and you can actually see the temperature of the machine increasing and how long it will take to heat up. And then it says how long you're gonna wanna press for and then we'll do a cold peel on this. So let's give it a shot. We're gonna let this cool down and then peel. Turned out so good. I love it, love it, love it. Now let's peel this one and do the same. Yay, it looks so good. Another one down, yay. So they got two of these really cute little trucker hats. Next up we are making three um, Libby glasses which are these. They look like this. They're really cute. They have little bamboo lids and then they each come with a straw as well. So we're gonna make three of our smiley face designs. So I'm going to trim up my vinyl, put it on here, send it to the machine, and then we will transfer them over to the cups. Okay, 
because this is gonna be a little hard for you guys to see. You can kind of see the little smileys here. They're just on a white background, so they're hard to tell. But I've got each of the cup wraps ready to go, each of the cups. And then we've got our transfer paper. We're gonna peel this off, and then we're gonna use this to put that onto each of the glasses. I use this little guy from Amazon. I will, I believe it's in my small business favorites, which I always have linked down below in my description box for you guys. It basically just holds the cups like this, and then you can kind of keep everything straightened. It also has these little rulers on the other side. I don't like them, but mine. out so good we've got all three done really cute little white vinyl with some little smiley faces on them i love them each of them will get a little glass straw like this that goes with it that kind of sticks in the lid but these get wrapped separate so now those are done and then the last part of this order was the beaded ghost earrings here are those look how cute they are we now only have I believe two pairs of these left so if you want these for halloween you need to go run to the website and snag them now so this person got three little ghost earrings for their order so three ghost earrings two hats three glasses, three t-shirts. And that is everything on their wholesale list. So now we can pack all this up. We've got everything tucked away. I'm gonna put some shipping labels on these and then we'll be done with this. Had to take a little break because pregnancy makes you really freaking tired. I really wanna go and take the packages to the post office because I have to. And then when I come back, I was really planning on getting some photos done. So I'm gonna still try to get that done because I wanna add new listings today because I try and add new listings onto the Etsy shop and stuff like that like pretty much every single day. So I've gotta do that for transfers for the apparel side of the business. And then I also like to do that for my graphic side of the business, which means I need to make some graphics for that too. Let's go to the post office. This little corner over here is where I'm thinking about putting the backdrop paper. I cut it to size so that it would fit over here. I'm actually just going to tape a couple of the pieces onto the wall and have this Drape down. That's what I mean. So here's kind of what we're working with. It creates like a little seamless backdrop, and then you can put like the little disco balls in like either of the corner. And I'm gonna grab an item. We are going to be photographing this little glass here, which is this really cute little seashell print lady glass. It'll probably sit somewhere like right here, and then this will kind of be in the background and stuff like that. But I have to use my phone because my camera died. All right. So while the camera was charging, I just quickly made this new hat and took photos of it. I'll show you guys the photos in a minute, but I want to go ahead and still photograph this piece. This one won't work as well with my phone camera, which is why I want to shoot it with the regular camera. So it should have enough battery now to at least get me some good photos for this. I don't really like the hot pink disco ball with this. So I'm going to put the silver one in the background and see if I like that better. That should be good. So now I've gotten two photographs. Let me show you guys the other photos. This is what the behind the scenes of an Etsy shop looks like. And I always put my listings on Etsy first. And then they go over to my website. What the new hat looks like. The new hat. Look at these photos. This one, I, These ones I took with my film with the portrait mode. And I think they actually turned out really great. So, oh, this one's a video. That's why it looks a tad different. And then there's these. 
Oh, they look so good. I wish the paper wasn't as crinkled, but honestly, I didn't really feel like taking the time to smooth it out and like Photoshop or anything. That's just me being a little lazy, but I went ahead and added this listing over to the shop and I added it onto Pinterest. So now it's under accessories. So we love that. And then I'm gonna add um, an, an actual like reel of me making the item and then the video, a little close up of it like this too. So all that will go on Pinterest. All right, so I quickly went ahead and added that new listing in. I really like how this one turned out as well. It's super cute. I love this little cup. And so I've gotten the photos. These all come with the bamboo lid and glass straw. So if you do purchase them from our shop, you'll get all three pieces for $17, which is honestly such a steal. And just look how stinking cute it is. I love that. So now I'm going to add it on over to the website and we'll be done for adding these new product photos. Alrighty guys, the rest of this afternoon I'm honestly going to chill out because I've been pretty dang productive today, which is like really pushing myself to the limit right now because I'm getting a little sleepy. What I'm gonna do is later I'm probably going to continue adding listings to the shop. I like to add like five new transfer listings at least a day, so I will try to get to that and then I'm also gonna work on some new SVG files for our graphic design shop, which is Lolo's Graphics on Etsy. I'll also I'll always have it linked down below in the description box for you if you want to go and check it out. Basically, that's just computer work, which is kind of boring anyways. And honestly, we've done so much today. So right here on the screen for you guys, I'm going to link the last vlog or the one I think you'll love the most, as well as the entire playlist full of our studio vlogs. If you want to go and binge watch them down here, you're going to find the subscribe button. And lastly, I'm going to link you over to cotsaldenco.com. Over there, you'll actually find a link to shop everything that you've seen in today's video, as well as shop our DTF transfers if you want to go and check those out too. And without further ado, guys, that brings us to the end. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.